lupus patients are significantly more likely than adults in the general population to develop certain types of cancer. Based on data from more than 13,000 people with lupus, blood cancers, including lymphoma, were significantly more likely. However, hormone-sensitive cancers, such as breast cancer, were less likely in lupus patients. People with lupus are living longer, so it's important to look at the long-term outcomes and comorbidities of these individuals, and cancer is one of the uh, outcomes of importance. So we saw that the number of cancers that occurred in systemic lupus was a little bit higher than what we, you'd expect compared to the general population. So for cancers overall, we found that there was about a 15% increase in the number of cancers that people with lupus get compared to the general population. But that seemed largely driven by the occurrence of hematologic cancers, that's cancers of the white cells, particularly lymphoma. And in addition, we found a higher risk among lupus patients compared to the general population for lung cancer, for hepatic cancer, and for uh, ca cervical cancer and cancers of the uh, vulva and vagina. In addition, we saw a very interesting phenomenon of decreased cancers uh, for breast cancer, ovarian cancers, and endometrial cancers in women with systemic lupus compared to the general population. Although this is a very um, dramatic increase in lymphoma from the point of view of our investigation, we should remember that it's still a relatively rare event in terms of absolute rates for an individual lupus patient. So if you follow 2,000 patients for a year, maybe one of them would develop a, a lymphoma. So it's important not to um, overemphasize some of the findings. However, I think we need to continue our investigation of the relative importance of drugs versus disease activity because probably both play somewhat of a role. When it comes to lung cancer, which we should remember uh, in absolute terms occurs as commonly as lymphoma because it's a relatively common cancer, we can try to mi minimize the risk in lupus patients by counseling smoking cessation because that is an important risk factor in lupus as well as in the general population for lung cancer. And when it comes to cervical cancers, there's uh, an increasing body of knowledge suggesting that women with lupus are at increased risk for preneoplastic lesions. So that means that if they undergo screening, hopefully those uh, precancerous changes, changes can be picked up. We should be trying to make sure that women with lupus undergo regular pap testing according to the general population guidelines, which would be once a year. And it's important to do that, particularly for people who are uh, taking immunosuppressive medications. Thank you.